Hi, you guys. It's me again. I'm Fred Brown, the nursery manager at White Oak Garden Center. Today we get to talk about Christmas trees, another one of my favorite subjects. Now, the first thing you're going to notice when you walk onto our lot, other than there's lots of evergreen trees here, is it smells so, so good. And what you're smelling are the Fraser firs that I'm standing right next to right now. It's really probably the premium tree you can buy for Christmas. It lasts longer than any other tree. It has a gorgeous dark green needle with a silver bottom so you get two tones of color out of one tree and it lasts really long and smells really, really good. We have these trees anywhere from 5 footers all the way up to 12 footers and they range in cost uh, drastically. But um, we're going to look at some other trees here too. Just follow me right down this little aisleway. Okay, now that we've briefly touched on the Fraser firs, let's go look at some of the other trees we offer. Another popular variety we sell that's on the lower end of cost are the Scotch Pines. It's a very nice full tree. It's got a long needle and it's a dark green tree and it kind of looks furry because they're so fluffy. Another tree we sell a lot of is the Colorado Blue Spruce. It decorates really, really nicely. Um, it is quite prickly, so, you know, be brave when you get one of these. We don't have a lot of them, so if you're interested in them, shop early, all right, because we'll sell out of these pretty quickly. Another one of our really, really popular trees that has a really, really unique fragrance is the Douglas Fir. Again, it looks really full like bear fur. It's not quite as dark green as the Scotch Pines, but it lasts really long and has a really, really neat smell. It kind of smells like oranges or something citrus. Now we're going to pan over here and look at a couple other trees real quickly. Now in the back, in the very back there, you see the white pines, which unfortunately have gotten rained on today, so they look a little matted. But this tree gets really soft and fluffy looking. Um, it doesn't deal with super heavy ornaments well, so, you know, watch what you try to hang on them and consider what ornaments you have before you buy one. It's not very expensive like the Douglas fir and the Scotch pine, so we do sell a lot of those also. Now we're going to finish up on two of my favorite trees, uh, um, and that is, right here, the Noble fir. It's probably our most expensive tree per foot. It gives you a wonderful layering pattern of the branches, which personally to me, I just love a lot. Um, it's very strong stem, so it holds lots of ornaments. It, it decorates really nice. And these trees that have layering in them, all right, tend to show off more of your ornaments, more of your lights. And um, this has a very nice uh, pine scented smell to it. It's kind of hard to describe, but it does have a nice rich aroma. And last but not least, we're going to look at a tree similar to this called the con color fir. This is the con color fir. It's more bluish in tint. It's got the upturned needles like the noble fir. It's got layering like the noble fir, and in my case, I kind of thin it out so the layering's a little more pronounced. It has that really yummy citrus smell like the Douglas firs, and they really, really last a long time. I'm too chicken to say they last as long as the Frasers, but I've had great success with them. Our longest lasting tree is the Fraser fir. Our second longest lasting trees are the Douglases, the Colorados, the Scotch Pines, the White Pines, uh, and I think that's it. And then we do have balsam firs. We don't have those in yet. Those are the original Christmas trees, the one you all call Charlie Brown trees. But if you really love ornaments, you really like the balsam. Set them up a couple weeks before Christmas. Oh, and there's not a huge benefit to saving your tree to buying at the very end. We've got great selection. None of them are going to get any fresher. The worst way to store your tree is out in the middle of the sunshine with the wind blowing through them. So if you really want your tree to last long and get the best value out of what you spend for your Christmas tree, buy them now. Get them bundled up. Get them put in the shade in your yard somewhere where the sun won't hit on them and the air won't blow through on them. And do not, 
do not lay them on concrete. Same with your Reese and your other fresh greens too. Come here and smell, smell this area. It smells so good. And boiling a few little twigs of your favorite evergreen in a little potpourri burner can give you a wonderful pine smell in your house without using the aerosols. Don't use your expensive pots because they get real sappy and it's a lot of cleaning. I love Christmas, I love the smells, and you all know how much I feel about evergreen, so obviously I'm probably pretty happy this time of year. See you guys, hope to see you here. Come on down.